Let's just take a, a creative in the dot-com industry, Steve Jobs. He was famous for whenever he had to make either a creative decision or a leadership decision. For example, when he hired um, Scully, who was working at uh, Pepsi Cola, he was the uh, CEO over there. Yeah. He took a walk with Scully for several hours, and that was the interview. Like they, they took a long walk and he trusted in the process of that when you're moving, because when you're breathing more okay. and when you're breathing more, you have more access to both your feelings and your creativity. Okay. Many of the musicians that I interviewed um, said that after the daily walk, they would go back in and they would do rearrangements of okay. what they either written or actually put together with the band or with themselves if they were an in individual performer. Okay. Another daily ritual that I found really fascinating and it is that almost all of them, both historically and in current time, employed either meditation, some form of prayer, whether it be Christian contemplative or Sufi or uh, Islamic, you know, the, the praying of five times a day to certain directions where there's some physiological movement where they bow down on, on a, a carpet um, and they carry a compass and that there's something that gets stimulated in the neurotransmitters in the brain that some form of meditation or prayer or yogic or tai chi experience or jikong yeah. open up the neurons in the brain that stimulate creative production wow so that when you enter into a meditational or contemplative state of mind it changes your body yeah. and then your body's physiology because yeah. The base, the brain is not just in the head, but the brain goes all the way down the thin brain stem and all the way to the base of your spine and your spinal column. That's all part of the brain. And um, most creatives employ taking time once or twice a day to sit in contemplation. And so, for example, and this is... Um, someone that it was not a traditional uh, artistic creative, but the, the founder, Ray Kroc of McDonald's, yeah. he took an afternoon walk and then he would sit in his chair and he didn't refer to it as meditation, but he called it thinking time. Mm -hmm. But he was clearly meditating. But he was he writing? Had... Was he writing or he was doing nothing? It was just nothing. Just okay. he would sit in, sit in his office, so okay. sit in his chair. Okay. And for and how long? Was, any any time or just minimally fifteen minutes up to an hour. Okay. And in one of the um, of these sitting sessions, in in Zen Buddhism, we would say he was <laughs> practicing zazen <laughs> without knowing it. Is he actually saw the image of the art? Okay. The art. Yeah, which became the symbol of, you know, uh, the, yeah, the McDonald's.